Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. Freedomsphoenix.com. How's it going, everyone? Pete here with Jacob. Just want to give a quick recap of some of the content we put out thus far with Police Accountability Tour. Yeah, you know, we've been out about three weeks now, and uh, before we even hit the road, we made a video just to do a little bit of outreach. A couple of other videos we put out before hitting the road gave some love to tour sponsors. We're happy to have them on board to keep us moving, and uh, also a quick overview of the gear and tech that I brought on the road with us. So within the first few days of being in Austin, it was clear that the public did not respect the entity of the police, both on ground, on the ground interactions, and also, you know, all the way up to the chief of police. You know, a lot of times it's these police murderers and, and the caging of innocent people that, that, that highlight the public's distrust for the police. But in New York City, it was things as simple as cops with broken headlights pulling over people with broken taillights and cops parking in front of fire hydrants at the same time that they would be ticketing people for the same alleged crime. While we were in Austin, a ruling came down in New York City, our next stop, which supposedly said that the practice of stop and frisk was to no longer be used. Hopefully that's the case, but we went ahead and made a video on it to just show the ridiculousness of its practice. And unfortunately, when we came here to Cape Town, we saw it being used here. We're not too surprised when you create uh, these institutions based on double standards, the same perverse incentives are inherent whether they are in New York or in Cape Town. One of the main reasons we made Austin, Texas the first stop on the police accountability tour was the Peaceful Street Summit, where they brought together hundreds of like-minded doers and activists and thinkers. And from that, we were able to put together a quick overview video. Cohesiveness and coming together from people from all walks of life was happening in New York City as well. Thus far, we've put out interviews with Jose, the founder of Dallas Cop Block when we were in Austin, and with Luke Radowski when we were in New York City. Whether it's Austin, New York City, or Cape Town, we've been taking some time and really getting into the streets to document these police interactions. And if there's one thing that's clear, the police that everywhere we go are not accountable for their actions, and we've been finding some really solid people taking a stand against them. So that's just some of the content we've put out thus far. We have a little bit more that we hope you check out. And we have plenty to, yet to come, you know, at least a couple dozen videos in the queue. We're trying to deal with the slower internet speeds that we're used to here in South Africa, but stay on the lookout and again, appreciate your, your thoughts, your well wishes, and your support. Cool. Is that right?